Welcome to today's tutorial. Today I am going to show you a really simple and beautiful and elegant way to play My Funny Valentine on the piano. This would be perfect for an intermediate level pianist and the accompaniment strategy is set up in a way that you can accompany either yourself singing or accompany somebody else singing. I'm Brenda Earl Stokes. I am the owner and creator of Piano and Voice with Brenda. I make creative and practical resources for singers, pianists, and music educators. And today I'm super excited to take you through a really easy and simple and beautiful way of playing My Funny Valentine on piano. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you, first of all, a chord strategy that sounds really good, is um, very easy to understand. Then I'm going to take you through a really easy accompaniment rhythm strategy. So by the end of this short tutorial, you will be able to play this beautifully. And you can accompany yourself singing or somebody else singing. And this tutorial comes with a free download. So if you want to get the download of all the things that I'm showing you in this tutorial, all you have to do is go to the description box below and click the link and you will get your own printable of all of the material from this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are at the piano and I'm going to show you the um, chords and some of the voicing choices that I think sound nice, but this isn't super difficult to play. So this one is in the key of C minor. And the first four chords of this are all different versions of a C minor chord. So the first one is just a C minor triad. And then the next written chord is C minor major seven. And what that means is that it has a B on the top. But what works really nice for the voice leading here is if you go from the C to the B, Okay, so it's kind of a tense sounding chord, but that's the point. So that's your C minor major seven voicing. So this is the minor third, this is the fifth, and this is the major seven. It's a very tense jazz chord. Then we go to C minor seven, and you'll notice the only thing that happens is the B goes to the B flat. All right, and then we go to C minor six, and this B flat is gonna go down to an A. Okay, so what we hear in this nice little arrangement is it goes from C to B to B flat to A while the top part of the chord stays the same. So let me show that to you again. That's C minor. Then it's C minor major seven. Then it's C minor seven. And then it's C minor six. Okay, next we're gonna play an A flat major seven chord. I mean, listen to how pretty that is. Then we're going to go to F minor 7. Um, then we're going to go to G7 sus flat 9. And don't panic. Um, all you're going to do is play this. So you're sort of playing an F minor 6 chord over top of a G. But this is exactly what we need to get done here. That's the flat 9 there. And then to go to G7 flat 9, this C is going to go to a B. Now ordinarily I wouldn't put complex chords into this, but this one I think was worth it. So there's your G7 sus flat nine, and then here's your G7 flat nine. So pretty. Then we're gonna do what we did at the beginning again. C minor, C minor major seven, C minor seven, and C minor six. Then we're gonna go to A flat major seven, and then down to F minor seven again. And now the next chord we're playing is F minor seven over B flat. And what this is, is it's another way we could have said B flat seven sus. And what the sus means is that we're playing the four instead of the three. So it's suspended the fourth that doesn't resolve to the three. But I thought again, this was another one that sounds really, really pretty. So F minor seven over B flat for two, two bars. Excellent. So let's do this much with singing on top. Now you'll notice I didn't write the uh, melody in for you here because that would be uh, in violation of copyright and I don't want to go to jail today or get a million dollar fine or whatever. I'm, I'm sure it's not that big of a deal but I wanted to respect the composers. And so um, you can learn the, write the lyrics in on top or get the lyrics and play the chords. So it goes from the beginning. Your first note is the root of the chord. My funny Valentine. 
sweet comic valentine you make me smile with my heart ooh tense your looks are laughable Yet you're my favorite work of art. Excellent. Not too bad, right? So next we're going to move on to the B section. And I just want to point out that the first four bars of this are exactly the same. And what I've chosen to do here, you're going to go from E flat and then you've got this A flat over B flat. And that's another way of saying B flat seven sus. So I've shown you two versions of that. And in this case, I thought since we're doing E flat, if we do the second inversion, it goes really, really nice. Okay, so you can hear how what a nice voice leading that is. All right. And so you can go back and forth. Exactly. Um, and then you're going to go from E flat. This is in the first inversion. Then we're going to G. Isn't that pretty? It's the G over the D. So the D is actually the fifth of the chord. Then you're going to go to C minor. This is in second inversion. And then when you get to the E flat seven, you're going to play E flat seven in the second inversion. And again, if you don't completely understand this, it, it doesn't matter. You can just follow along with the voicings that I'm showing you. This is just the E flat seven chord in second inversion. And then we're going to go to this really nice A flat major seven. And then we're going to go to G7. And here's the G7 with the flat nine. So three, five, seven, flat nine. And this sounds so pretty because when we go to resolve back to the C minor, hear how pretty that is. It's got that real tension um, and resolves to C minor. And you see this a lot in minor when you're playing jazz in influenced or this, this style of music that you find the flat nine on dominant chords when you are going to minor chords. So let's take a look at the bridge one more time. And we're going to go from E flat to A flat over B flat. And then again. And then again, again. <laughs> now we're going to go from E flat to G, C minor, and that's in second inversion. To E flat seven and then A flat major seven and then right up to that G seven. Beautiful. Now we're going to play our C section here and the C section is essentially just the A section that has four extra bars tacked on to the end of it. So you're going to go from C minor to C minor major seven to C minor seven to C minor six. And then we go from A flat major seven. And there's that pretty G7 sus flat nine to G7 flat nine to C minor. And then this is so pretty. Listen to that. This is the C minor triad to the A minor seven flat five. And essentially you'll see what it is, is it's a C minor triad in the right hand and A in the left hand. Okay. So then we go F minor seven, and then we go back to this F minor over B flat seven shape again. And that's that B flat seven sus with the nine in it. So pretty. And then we play E flat in the first inversion again. And then when we get to the G seven, that's what we're going to play. Now, when you get to the end of the song, you're going to end on an E flat chord. You're not going to end on a G seven chord. That's what we call the turnaround. And what that's going to do is give you the opportunity to sing it a second time if you want. But if you've decided it's the end of the song, then just play an E flat and you're, you're done. So let's start at the bridge together and I'm going to sing um, along with it and play so that you can hear it in context and you're welcome to sing and play along with me. That's 
the melody. So the melody there starts on the E flat. No, it starts on the G, so the third. Is your figure you less than Greek? So here we go. Is your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open it to speak, your turnaround. Excellent. And so that's the whole piece for my funny Valentine with the voicings, the chords in it. So let's do it together one more time. And you'll notice I tried to keep the voicings here as simple as I could. Uh, they sound really good, but I didn't want to make it more complicated than it needed to be. So let's take it from the beginning to Oh, and remember, you always want to play the first note for yourself. And so in this case, the first note is uh, the root of the chord. And I know it seems like a very simple thing. Like, of course, you want to give yourself your first note. But almost everybody I know who is not used to singing and playing at the piano at the same time will start to play and then go, oh, rats, I forgot to give myself my first note. I've done that before, too. So in this case, the first note is the C. And you just want to play it and make sure your ear is tuned to that. One, two, three. Here we go. My funny Valentine, sweet comic Valentine, you make me smile with my heart. There's that three, five, seven, flat nine. Your looks are laughable, unphotographable, yet you're my favorite work of art. Is your play the G7 as a turnaround. So now we have the opportunity to figure out maybe a rhythm strategy for this. And since I'm keeping this at the kind of intermediate level, nothing terribly difficult, I wanted to give you something that would be realistic for you to be able to sing and play at the same time, because I know it's not the easiest thing to do. And so what I've shown you here on the screen is this rhythm pattern that I've got. And I can just show it to you. You're going to go one, two, three three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's both two, left, right. Both, two, 
left, right. One more time. Left, right, both to left, right. And what's great about this is you can practice it on your lap or tapping it on your sternum or on the piano, wherever you want to practice this. Now, I like this because it's giving enough sense of rhythm and motion, but it's not going to be super, super difficult to accompany yourself singing. So you're going to go like this, two, three, four. speed up here. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to do the exact same rhythm pattern, but it has to change um, in the middle of the bar. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two. So can you see that? That I played the first two beats, the E flat, and then I went left, right on this A flat over B flat chord. Is your figure less I did that okay and that works really really well because again you're keeping the same rhythmic pattern happening for the whole song um, so it's not gonna be very abrupt of a change but it's going to um, you know work for the chords we just have to modify it for the chords changing so this is the second half of the B section one two three four one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four. Right? I think I forgot on A flat major seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Excellent. So you get the idea. And now let me show you a little tiny bit of this. I'll just do the last, the C section, just so you can hear how it works all together. One, two, three, four. Don't change a hair for me, not if you care for me, stay a little valentine, stay to work on this now that I've showed you how to do it is to go very slowly move through the chords you know you could do eight bars at a time or four bars at a time until you have the patterns in your fingers when you are ready and are able to play the chords without a lot of error then you can start the um, rhythm strategy and you can practice that I highly recommend that you um, use the metronome for that because that will help you to keep nice and steady and then as soon as you're ready that with that process and you're able to move on then it's time to sing on top of it. If you click the link in the description box below, you can get a free download of everything I've shown you today, including all of the chords and the rhythm strategy that I gave you. If this video was helpful for you, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, take a moment and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I post two videos a week to this channel, all kinds of things that are in support of your becoming a better musician, learning piano skills, learning songs. It would be great to have you in our little community. If you want to know more about me, you can check out my website, pianoandvoicewithbrenda.com. Thank you so much for watching. Wait,